Hello, Miss Lux. Um, I'm going to be doing my oral report today on what it takes to be a PLC technician. Uh, PLC means programmable logic controller. Um, a technician is something that when you work on things, troubleshoot, make sure that everything runs right, uh, working with engineers to make sure that uh, the setup is correct, uh, everything that goes with that. Uh, getting a job in the programmable logic controller field can mean many things. There are tons and tons of jobs out there that take this training to complete. Um, and coming out of a technical program that Chattanooga State offers will guarantee the future, your future, in the job market itself. With so many things from the manufacturing technology aspect, um, coming out right now a lot of companies are switching over to it uh, for cost efficiency uh, air uh, safety issues and stuff like that uh, everything's going great so uh, and Chattanooga State will give you the valuable skills to become an expert in the industry uh, just doing some simple Google searches uh, and things help me actually understand more about what my chosen profession would entail and everything so let's get on with it Chattanooga State offers an automated controls program that specializes with PLC's you take two specialized PLC courses and basically what that means is that you learn programming uh, such as ladder logic uh, RS logic 5000 and RS links uh, and you can pretty much take that anywhere using the Allen Bradley software uh, a lot of companies run Allen Bradley for its efficiency. Uh, its cost is low, plus uh, everything that Allen Bradley has. Their software is the best, uh, really simple to use, and that makes everything much easier. Uh, and your job in the automation field is to make everything that runs smooth. And automation is what increases productivity and brings costs down in the manufacturing industry. Troubleshooting, writing code, as I said, repairing input output networks and data highways, even replacing industrial electrical equipment are just a few of the things that you can get a job in with this training. It's so valuable to have all that knowledge and to be training alongside engineers and other techs that have been in the field longer will definitely help you expand your skills and become a more valuable asset to the company. Now, uh, I have here a picture of a PLC with inputs and outputs labeled. Um, it's kind of a jumble, but I will do my best to explain as best I can. I'll get up a little close here. Um, this here, on this side, is the inputs of a PLC. And basically, you run an, an input in here. These are all switches um, that control a lot of different things through... Uh, through automation it can be robots or um, forklifts or anything like that really um, on this side here you have your outputs same as your inputs there should be the same amount and one of the big things here is labeling as you can see there's a whole bunch of wires here um, to jumble up on this side oops sorry on this side you have a, a key that will actually start the PLC and turn it on as well as various serial ports and Ethernet. Ethernet is actually the best way to communicate with a PLC nowadays. It's the fastest uh, except for when you have to go over time or over a, a distance it actually gets interference over about 50 to 75 feet so you would want to go with an input output setup uh, but uh, this is a serial port connection here actually uh, that's what they used to do in the old days, but here in the bottom you can see some Ethernet, what look to be Ethernet cords. So uh, that's the best way to, if you're going about 50 to 75 feet, no interference, and very fast uh, communicating information. And I also have another picture here <clears throat> of something that's called RS Logix 5000. Uh, this comes from this program. Uh, I found this on Google Images actually and printed it out. And this is just a sample of things that you could possibly do. Uh, this top one here, this is a timer on delay. We have actually learned about this already. And basically what it does is that once you flick the switch, a certain amount of time will go through. Get a little closer. Sorry. 
a certain amount of time will go through and once that time is done it will cut off as you can see here on this side right here right here is the enable and done right here so when you flick the switch the enable will come on and once it's done the done bit will shut off the timer and this is it basically goes from left to right and down left to right and that's how you run your logic um, and we have various it's a it's an open switch right there so uh, very useful useful things you can learn and a lot of things are being done on uh, RS logics right now too to uh, to make sure you don't have you can actually make switches in the program and instead of uh, actually having real switches you can have uh, what are they called best word for them inanimate switches I guess they're not real but they're in the program so the program reads them as such so you don't actually have to spend money on switches becoming a PLC expert once you've been in the field for so long what you want to do is gather get, excuse me gather as many skills as you possibly can to make yourself an asset and make yourself more known for your work and basically the more that you go around in the industry it's great if you can get a job in one place learn all the skills and move up the ladder that way would be great but if you become one of the best in your industry and you know exactly what you're talking about excuse me it might be a better thing for you to create your own consulting company and just work as an independent contractor uh, travel around and, and make sure that everything is working right for everybody you can troubleshoot or uh, get together with engineers to make a whole company automated make sure that they have all the necessary equipment um, and to make sure everything runs smooth and to provide maintenance uh, that's what you could do as a contractor and they really start from about 65 to 125 dollars an hour uh, when you get up to be a PLC expert actually and I have here one more visual aid um, I have a graph here of the um, industry of PLC jobs and uh, here this was in the first quarter of 2008 to the second quarter of 2009. Uh, the median, if you, as you can see here, was about 65,000. Um, so you know, it's not a job that pays little. Uh, once you have that training, you're you're uh, you're going to be making pretty good money. So um, it's not a it's not a bad deal, really. If you enjoy it, you know what you want to do. And that's the thing is that there's so many choices out there that you could go in with this technical degree. And I honestly can't wait to see what where life takes me after this uh, degree is finished. Um, I want to be a very hard worker to uh, show my skills and knowledge of the industry. Uh, thank you very much for listening and I hope you have a great day.